Arahiana Marina Tohinu. And they're away again. Here's Amy Duplessis down the sideline. Has Ruby Tui. Tui steps inside. Ruby Tui now race for the line. And Tui will win it. And Tui gets a double. What a way to sign off these last few minutes of the game. Ruby, congratulations. Uh, another good win against uh, the Russian team there. Um, you've had a bit of an odd day today. You've had to prepare, have a break, come back. But one thing's for sure, you came out strong today because you were wanting to improve after yesterday. 100%. Yeah, the uh, Russia, they are very cool people, man. We get on with them, very lovely people. But on the field, as I said before, they are bloody tough. They're a tough, tough team. And to be honest, they weren't at the last Olympics, so this is huge for them. Massive congratulations to Russia. Thank you so much. Um, but it, I, I don't want to say the score made it look easy, but it was not easy. Don't be fooled. That was not an easy game. Lots of running. My GPS just blew up. That's how hard it was. So, um, nah, lots of respect for Russia. How was it, New Zealand? How was it? I'm just so proud to be a New Zealander right now. They said nobody cared about women's rugby, but guess what? We out here. We out here, fam. We going nowhere. New Zealand, catch a bit here, Quinn. How are you? It was absolute carnage out there, and I'll let you in on a little secret too. You know, our captain, I thought Les, I thought Les was short for Leslie, but it's actually short for Let's Go! We just won the <laughs> game! <laughs> so you're backing yourself to hold that World Cup up in the air come finals time? You know how it goes, mate. All the cliches, day by day, game of two halves, yeah, definitely. And how difficult was it? I mean, you say you didn't think it was that dominant there, but to kind of keep the composure and the motivation when you're scoring try after try, I mean, you secured a bonus point within the first 30 minutes. So <laughs> how do you kind of keep that, that motivation going, I guess? How do I keep the motivation going? My entire adult life I've dedicated to rugby. Um, put a lot of things on hold, chose rugby over a lot of things. And I can tell you right now, if I'm choosing this, you know, my, my two cousins just got their better, their son on better over in Aussie, really wanted to be there, couldn't because I'm here. So every second I'm in this jersey, every second I'm at this World Cup, I will not stop. That's for all my people, all my friends and all my family. So motivation, bro, is pretty easy to find in this jersey. It's, it's nothing but an honour and I get to be here and so many others didn't um, and I take that very seriously. Okay, Auntie Cindy, I was just wondering, when you're finished being Prime Minister, can you give me a do? <laughs> yes! Nā mihi tō tai o te hau kāinga o te tamaki makairau. Um, thank you for letting us be here, have our presence here. They said we couldn't do it, Kirst. They said we wouldn't. We did it, and honestly, it took all of us. Anybody out there defended in England more before? It ain't easy on the last minute, baby. But we all did it together. New Zealand was a part of that. And I'm so proud to be here right now. Rare piece of possession for her now. Philippon just sliding across as Holmes puts one through. Two, he's after it. Boulard, where's this going? Ruby Tui! You can hear the crowd roar when she's anywhere near the ball. Her and Woodman. Never give up on a chase. Now, we've heard what you think about Russia. A word on GB, because you don't get to play against the GB side very often. Obviously, obviously you play against England and Scotland, but what have you made of them here at the, this uh, tournament? You know, I love how GB come together, eh? Like, you know, they all split up, but then for the Olympics, they're all friends. It's funny, because in the scrum, they probably hate me saying this. Sorry, Abby. But when they go down, they go, England! Like, they're real, you know, proud to be England. But they can't do it, yeah? So Abby's got to go, GB, when she goes down. So, like, you know, everybody comes together. Scotland uh, got a couple of really good players in there. Wales, obviously, Joyce is bloody gas. Gas couple of us, even. So, 
I love the whole concept of GB and like I said, huge congratulations to Great Britain, Great Britain and um, all the people of that place because they fundraised, they worked hard, they campaigned. I think even a couple of us donated and they um, ended up at the Olympics. So huge, huge mahi, uh, big job. Sorry, mahi is means job. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much, Ruby. I'm being told you have to go because I think the rain's coming. We'll see you tomorrow. What, what rain? Bring on the thunder. We're at the Olympics. Let's be happy. Let's compete safely and peacefully. Peace and love. Love you guys. We love you too, Ruby. Good to see you. There you go, Ruby. Fantastic. Brilliant, Ruby. Um, a resounding win today. How impressed are you by the team's performance? Everyone keeps saying but we won real well, but I, um, I don't know. I've got to give it to Wales. I've, I've only played them a couple of times over in the Seven Series, so it was really cool to play another rugby nation. They're just like New Zealand, really, with their footy. So it didn't, um, it didn't feel dominant. It was, um, you know, they kept us guessing and. What st stood out for me, I guess, maybe that's what you're referring to, is the connections that we're growing in the team. It just felt like we all knew what we wanted to do, we're all on the same page, and we get into that state in a team where you don't have to um, talk, you can just use your eyes. So it's, um, oh, I'm excited. Like I think we're just getting started. Like We've got the key, put in the ignition, and we're just, we're just getting started, so it's pretty exciting. Much better, thank you. Demand, oh, nicely done. Under pressure as Tui goes through the Australian defence, takes on the line. There's lots of girls here putting braids in their hair like you, armbands and all sorts of things trying to emulate you. Australia and New Zealand, that rivalry, so much familiarity there when you're welcoming the, Wall well, the Wallaroos, congratulating them for a great game. How do you feel after that performance? Oh, the, the rivalry between Aussie and uh, New Zealand sounds like you um, know it all too well. I've had a bloody couple Olympic finals, you know, like it's 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 more than more than words. It's, it goes really, really deep. And I think it's something we should be proud of. And I think, um, yeah, each year we can just make it better and better. But I, I thought it was going to be a bit hotter over here, to be honest. I'm a bit gutted. But for real, if you like sport, take away the gender. What's entertaining you? What kind of footy is it? Because I guarantee you that semi in that final, that was entertainment, baby. That's what sport is. We had to create positivity. There's enough negativity in the world. Let's bloody do this. Don't know if you got to watch the game at all, but did you think England looked beatable against France last night? I see what kind of setup that is. <laughs> Bro, that game, England versus France, was awesome. It was really, really cool. It's, it's not even just England and France, though. It's everyone. Italy got up against USA. Like, it's this tournament is, I think, showing the world women's rugby is like, it's about to pop, like jump on this waka or the jump on this boat or you're going to miss it. It's one of the most exciting tournaments we've ever had, um, been watching for a long time. So, you know, we're here. How cool we get to be here and experience this right here in New Zealand, Aotearoa. Like, yeah, that game was awesome, but I think this whole tournament, um, we've got a job to do and it's to show the world what we've got. World Cup, just around the corner. How are you feeling about that? Oh, geez. Like I said, I'm just really grateful for everybody that's jumped on board like shout out to um, Smithy and that Wayne Smith you know like he's put his hand up and gone I actually give a damn about women's rugby and we've had so many bloody wallabies all blacks see a Khaleesi messages you know like just people jumping on board and backing us it means heaps hey eh? like I'm he's making us amazing players and better people it's I've never experienced anything like it brother it's, it's pretty cool everybody wanted to know what would happen after COVID Black Friends lost the end of year tour Everybody wondered what would happen if the Black Ferns lost their home. I guess we'll never know.